Now the observant amongst you will realise that I'm not actually sat in the new Bailey Unicorn, I'm sat in a Bailey Phoenix and there is a reason for that. Um, the following models were all filmed as and when they were ready. Um, so the minute they were out of the factory, um, I managed to sneak in when Bailey were doing some promo photos and video. Hence, I'm now sat in a Phoenix filming the intro and also you'll notice a change in the weather or what I'm wearing and stuff like that. Um, because the manufacturers have had a um, an interest in 2021. I mean, progress has been absolutely flat out with the caravan market uh, booming thanks to the UK staycation. But thankfully, um, Bailey have come up with um, some great 2022 models. I mean, and we're not just talking facelift models either. Now, I've got a list in front of me. Now, this list, this is all the new changes, and I've sort of cut it down. These are the potted highlights. Um, if you want to know any more, I'll link their website below that has all the changes for 2022, but these are the ones that I thought worthy of mentioning. So, exterior. Um, the biggest difference is, well, it says a new front profile and infinity window, which is 50% bigger. The window is what you notice straight away, whether you're in it or out of it, that window is colossal. Uh, new graphics and alloy wheels, uh, relocated power point. Uh, I mean, uh, to be fair, about time. If you're fed up with tripping over a power cable by the door, Bailey have finally moved it to the um, to the other side. So if you want all your services along there, such as your Wastemaster, your Acrol and your power point, and you don't want that in the awning, uh, yeah, great move. Uh, thank God, it's about time. Um, and it also has the same features, or some of the same features, as the Unicorn 4, such as Alco's ATC, solar panel, barbecue points, etc. Plus now, the Unicorn 5 is pre-wired for Wi-Fi. Um, so going on to the interior. Again, this window. It's not this window, but you'll see it in a minute. It's called the Infinity Window, as I said, 50% larger. Um, now on this Phoenix model, you can see sort of a step up here. It doesn't have that. It is flush with the table and it's a lot bigger. Again, you'll see that in a sec. Uh, outer central heating, as you'd expect in the Unicorn. It's got light oak furniture finish uh, and also the cupboard doors are sort of curved in a bit more, which along with that window just gives it a much more uh, roomy feel. Uh, front uh, fabric storage pockets to hold magazines, books, iPads, etc. Yeah, a few models have got that. Uh, curved corner backrest to maximise the seating area so you can really get into the corners. Now that's the exact wording here and you'll see at the front of the caravan where the seats are where it meets the windows rather than just sort of having a sort of bit of a lost space if you will. You can now sit right back into that corner which makes the lounge feel that much bigger. Um, two options of upholstery. Um, now talking of what's in the upholstery it's not foam. All of these are sprung, which makes it comfortable. Um, top and mid-level lighting throughout and lit curtain rails. Yeah, basically more LED lights. Uh, you'll see it in a minute in the cutlery drawer, that sort of thing. Built-in kitchen wine rack. I mean, what caravan doesn't love a glass of wine? Um, I think most of the models have got the wine rack, but keep an eye out for it. It's to the right of the kitchen. A new kitchen worktop and splashback. To be fair, you'd probably expect that anyway from a new model. Wider fixed beds. Uh, yeah, quite simple, really. Basically, what they've done, if you've got a fixed bed with wardrobes either side, basically, they come down and then they're shaped at the bottom. Quite simple, to be fair. But it does give you a much wider bed. Um, and I think they build this as being... The, U, the biggest bed ever in a unicorn or maybe the biggest bed ever in a Bailey. But anyway, have a look on the video in a minute and, and let me know what you think. Um, luxury bigger bathrooms with backlit mirrors and new Belfast style washroom sink. Yeah, square sink. Um, wall mounted splash rack running throughout the washroom and the shower. Again, you'll see that in a minute. So you have the splash rack running through and you also have a, um, uh, a mirror in the shower. Um, until I've used one, I'm not quite sure what I think about that, but uh, you know, it does certainly add to that uh, washroom and it makes that finish run right around the entire thing. Um, now, as I said, these videos were filmed whilst they were having photos and video work done from Bailey as soon as these models were done. 
I had two or three minutes to dash in, get the video and get out. So I didn't have room to sort of lay down on the bed and, and you know, try the caravan out, uh, that sort of thing. So, but if there's something you'd like to know, feel free to ask a question. I may have spotted it, or if not, um, the Bailey website has, um, it's quite comprehensive with the, the list of uh, features and weights and that sort of thing. Um, but I'll also put as much information as I can in the description below, because I realise you know, each video is probably two, three, maybe four minutes long. That's as much time as I had. Um, but I hope you enjoy the 2022 models. And here they are. So this is the Unicorn 5 Vigo, which as you can see is a single action caravan. Now the maximum weight or MTPLM on this is 1600 kilos. Right, so. I suppose one of the bigger differences on the Unicorn 5 range has to be this infinity window, which gives you 50% more space. Um, now, I mean, coupled with these new locker doors as well, which are curved, and it has lighter oak with, I think it was cashmere above. I mean, this is a five foot eight lounge. Um, so not the biggest lounge in the range, um, but it still has that massively roomy feel. Biggest selling point, obviously for the Vigo, is the transverse island bed. Now this is probably, I don't know, an ideal couples van with occasional use um, for family guests up the front. Now, it has the kitchen, which has a new worktop, new mid-level lighting, which you can probably just see under here. Um, you know, if you want to see what's going on in that cutlery drawer, that will certainly help. New design splashback, I believe. And this is where the controls are for the Alder heating. As you'd expect, dual fuel hob under this cover. Now this cover gives you additional workspace. Three burner gas hob, electric one in the corner. A separate grill and oven. And this is a microwave that doesn't need that glass plate. So you have got to keep storing it in the handbook or wherever when you're traveling. Opposite here, there's a telly point, which will be oh, obviously if you want to uh, watch telly from the lounge and 133 litre Dometic fridge freezer. There we go. Right, so new for the bedroom. Um, Unicorn 5, if I come back here, you can see, see this curve here on the door? This allows for a wider bed, which I believe is the unicorn's widest bed yet. Um, you know, due to this scallop shape on the wardrobe. So there's a wardrobe and in the other one lives the outer tank. These, I'm guessing, are USB lights above. Yes, they are. So you each have a USB point up here and quite like these as well. I don't know why, it's quite simple. But if you want to keep your book, nighttime essentials, phone, whatever, that is a very handy space. Let's make that bed again. Uh, vanity unit here at the foot of the bed. There's another telly point. You can see the points up there. Telly mounting bracket there on the wall. There I am. Um, so you have that mirror there. Vanity unit below. And obviously, if you're wondering what that is there, that is the outer radiator for the heating. Oh, little shelf. Right, let's go into the washroom and have a look. Um, full width end washroom. Now, I'm not as so familiar with the Unicorn range as I am with the Phoenix range, because you know, we have a Phoenix. The splashback looks new to me. Whether it had it in the shower or not, I don't know. You also have a, a, a mirror in the shower. Um, good size shower as well. What's this? Soap? Shampoo? Got to be in the drain at the back. Uh, we certainly don't have that in the Phoenix. I do like these. Very simple. Incredibly simple. But, you know, if you've been out, it's raining. Not that it ever does on our caravan holidays. But you need to dry your coat or wet towels or whatever. You know, you hang them there. It drips there on the bottom of the shower. So simple, but makes a massive amount of sense. Rather than hanging it on the back of the door, making your entrance mat wet. Uh, big mirror here. Um, 
The sink is new. It's a Belfast style sink, as is, I, I believe, this storage here. Now, I haven't got a loo roll handy, but it looks loo roll size to me. What can you get in there? Four, one, two, four, possibly five loo rolls. Um, has a window as well. You know, clear window so you can make friends while you're reading the newspaper. Um, lots of separate storage here and a cupboard there. So that is the Unicorn 5 Vigo, which has that um, transverse island bed. So this is the Cabrera, again, single axle. Now this hasn't been propped yet or anything like that, so... Um, Right, so this has the um, island bed at the rear of the caravan, washroom in the middle, lounge at the front. Uh, again, got the infinity window with the, um, I think this is the standard fabric, which is all sprung, it's not foam. Um, same kitchen as the Vigo. Again, dual fuel hob, separate oven grill, um, new worktop. There's a light under here, there's no battery in it at the moment, so I can't turn any of the electrics on. So you'll be able to see in the cutlery drawer. And we've also got that um, 133 litre fridge, if my memory serves me well. So the bed, obviously you've got lots of room here to walk around. Uh, my lens at the moment is on half size, but I'll put my foot there to give you an idea just how much room you have obviously that's day mode so if you're at night mode you just pull that bed out to give you more room i won't do that now because it's they've prepped it nicely for the uh, for the pictures and videos in a minute um well hang on this full length mirror here let me come around here right full length mirror electric socket under there again the same curved locker uh, locker doors wardrobe doors here with the cubby holes there. Um, I really like those. I know I've said it before and they're very simple, but I mean, you know, how much easier would that make life? You just tuck your book in there when you're feeling tired and, and go to sleep. Um, outer radiator there, another little cupboard there. I'm guessing that's got some shelves in there, is it? Yep, there we go. And the center washroom. Um, there we go. I don't know if you can quite see how big the shower is, but uh, yeah, good size room in the shower. And separate loo over there. So the door, this door either shuts the front of the caravan off from the rear or shuts the toilet off um, from everything else. What have we got here then? Oh, a sliding door here. So a proper wooden sliding door will shut this part of the caravan off. Then that door either shuts that off or the toilet off. Um, so Lou, again, the Belfast style sink. Um, um, storage under the vanity unit, shelf behind the loo, and, oh, here's a catch at the bottom. Shelves above with a window. So there we are, that is the new Unicorn 5 Cabrera. So this is the Unicorn 5 Madrid. Now, single axle caravan, uh, MT PLM 1500 kilos, which means if you want a unicorn, you can tow it with, uh, well, with a relatively light tow vehicle. Now, layout wise, we have the lounge at the front, side dinette makes into a, a bunk above and an end washroom, but we'll start with the front lounge. Now, these seats are six foot four long. Um, so you've got single axle caravan, but you've still got six foot four long front seats. Now, lots of room for seating. Obviously can be used as um, a large single bed either side or the slats pull out and it makes up into a large double. Now the kitchen as well. Now this is the first time I've seen it. So I'm, I'm, this is all new to me as well. But the kitchen looks to be one of the largest in the unicorn range in my eyes. Now you have 
the fridge here, uh, fridge freezer here, sorry, dual fuel hub, separate oven and grill, and uh, the sink with the worktop around it. Oh, sorry, I was just seeing if there was a worktop extender. There's not on this one. Um, lots of storage above. And, you know, if you want, let's say, for example, you're away, you want to keep that up into uh, made up as a double, you've got the side dinette that you could use here. Or, obviously, you could put that back to a lounge and have even more space. Um, you can see the, the bunk frames here, so you would get a bunk above if you want two additional guests or take away the kids. And you have the end washroom. Um, separate shower in there. Lots of storage space. And the layout here, because you've got a wardrobe here, so you can see where the wardrobe comes round. Um, wardrobe door there. So this layout gives you quite a bit of room around the loo. Uh, window above, separate shelves, um, storage, uh, sorry, cupboard there, cupboard below, Belfast style sink. And that is the Madrid. So this is the Unicorn 5 Seville. This is the smallest and lightest uh, model in the Unicorn range, single axle as you can tell, MTPLM of just 1450 kilos. Now it's a two bar caravan, perfect for couples or solo caravanners. Now traditionally, if you had a front lounge, mid kitchen, and washroom, you know, something has to give with that space. Not so in this. Now these beds um, are six foot four long, so you can either use it as a large double, or if you don't want to make it up as a double, Take these back rests off and you've got single beds. You could use it as a twin bed layout. Um, in fact, let me come up here. Now, you've got lots of space in the kitchen as well. I mean, don't forget this is a two berth caravan, the smallest one, but you've still got plenty of worktop space here, which um, you know, it's obviously helped by this flap here. Uh, shelving here, new splash back, fridge, separate grill and oven, dual fuel hob under there, and here, uh, is all the storage for your kitchen utensils, as well as the lockers above and the microwave. Now, opposite that, uh, now just for scale, you know, there are cameras on there. You can see the size of the room you would have for your TV point. So if you're sat back here, you can have a big enough telly that you can both enjoy either from the kitchen or from the lounge. Plus, you can use the end for, I mean, there's coffee there now. You know, if you want a beer, glass of wine in the evening, it's a handy place to put that. Um, you know, other side over here. Um, a long mirror, um, three pin plug and all your switches here. So this could be your getting ready area. And we have um, the washroom here. Now room in the middle here to get changed. Obviously the loo, Belfast style sink. There's lots of storage in the back here as well as, I don't know if you can quite see it then, but there's a new um, new wardrobe here which that little light comes on, you know, much like a fridge, light comes on when you open the door and table lives in here as well, as well as that Audi um, tank. Now, opposite that is the shower. Now this is, um, crikey, I can't even open it. There we go. Push shower, remember that. Um, there's room enough in here. If you want to keep the dog bed in here, plenty of room. You see me wet shoes. Um, there's a hanging rail above that unclips, hang your wet coats and towels. And that is the bathroom. So there we are, that is the new Unicorn 5 Seville. So this is the Unicorn Cadiz, single axle, 1600 kilos MTPLM. Right, I've only got a few seconds with this one because as you can see, they're, uh, they're trying to film here at the moment. So um, there we go, infinity window, same as before, sprung bases on these, not foam bases. Um, a shorter lounge because at the, um, towards the rear, you've got twin beds. Now, twin beds, obviously, um, you're probably thinking couple's van, but also if you've got older children and they don't want to share a bunk um, or, you know, share a double, then it makes it quite a versatile layout because you've obviously got the beds here you know, and they could use one of the front ones as a single, or even the kids here and parents in the double at the front. Now, no prizes for guessing what's behind the door between the beds. This is the washroom. So we have the um, 
storage here, nice big mirror, splash back, and sort of uh, Belfast style sink. Storage below in that vanity unit. Obviously there's the loo, and behind the loo, we have, there we go, we have the wardrobe. Um, good size wardrobe there, shelf above, hanging rail, and room for shoes, and your summer hat below. Outer radiator, obviously with that separate shower. Uh, you know, if you wanna look at yourself while you're in the shower, feel free, fill your boots, splash back there. And I know I've mentioned this before, but you know, those hanging rails, when you've got a wet coat, bring that down, hang your coat there, saves getting that front mat wet when you're hanging your coats on the door. Um, it has the 133 litre Dometic fridge. And obviously, the kitchen here, um, dual fuel hob, separate grill and oven, four bottle wine rack, a microwave that doesn't need that glass plate, and the extender on the end. So that is the Unicorn 5 Cadiz. So this is the Unicorn 5 Pamplona. Right, so the Pamplona is divided into three distinct sections. We have the lounge at the front. Now that's quite a long lounge. I suppose you'd want that in a twin axle caravan. Um, yeah, that is long. I think I read somewhere these beds are six foot four long. So even if you didn't want to use it as a double, that would make a very large single. And these bases are sprung, so they're not foam. Um, that infinity window, which is obviously flush with the top of the table. The kitchen, uh, new style worktop, separate oven grill, um, dual fuel hob. I won't open that because obviously they've dressed it for the, for the photo shoot. Microwave without a glass plate, large Dometic fridge, TV point at the front, separate storage and cubby holes here. So that's the front section. The middle section is obviously centre washroom. So we have a splash back, the mirror, and uh, a shelf for all your toiletries. That's quite wide as well. It probably doesn't look on here, but um, yeah, that extra axle does give this quite a bit more width in the center section. So this door can either be used to close the loo door or to divide off the front of the caravan. So this would then make it, you would have a shower, dressing space here. And if I come around the corner with that, you can see how this curved wall in the uh, bedroom just gives you that much more room in the bathroom. Uh, Belfast style sink, vanity unit below for storage, separate shelf behind the loo, and more storage here. And obviously, guess in, in there. So at the back, we have a, um, an island bed. It's in day mode at the moment. Obviously, you, you probably know that you can pull this then out to give you more room um, to, for sleeping, but it's, in, it's pushed back at the moment, day mode, which gives you more room at the foot of the bed. Right, what have we got? So again, we have the little cubby holes here for your book, phone, etc. USBs in the lights above, as well as that scalloped um, wardrobe which makes this the unicorn's widest bed yet. Uh, vanity unit with storage below there, telly point above it, and over here, there's a full length mirror. So, you know, if you wanna get your cocktail dress on, do your hair from the, uh, from the plug socket and, and shelf there, then, you know, you can fill your boots. So this is, So why is this thing? So this is the Bailey Unicorn 5 Pamplona. So this is the twin axle Cartagena. 
Now, as you'd expect, slightly heavier caravan, MT PLM of 1800 kilos. Now, the big selling point about the car's Hainer is you've got a transverse um, fixed island bed, but you've also got a really big lounge. Now, these seats are six foot four long, which means you can either use them as single beds or make it up into a generous double. Um, you're not compromised on kitchen space either. Um, you've got a worktop extender here, which will give you, while that flaps down, um, a good amount of working space. Again, mid-level lighting here, which lights into the um, cutlery drawer. Microwave at the top that doesn't have a plate because it doesn't need one. Dual fuel hob under there, uh, separate oven and grill, and the all-important wine rack. Now, I don't know if you've seen these before. Um, did Dometic release these last year? Basically, it's a 153 litre fridge, but the big thing is you can open the doors both ways. So if you're in the lounge, you want a cheeky beer, you can open it from the lounge, or you know what? If you want something from the fridge whilst you're in bed, you can open the door that way. Now, the biggest selling feature has to be uh, the bed, doesn't it? Now, this is in day mode where the bed is pushed right back against the wall. Um, which gives you a really decent amount of space at the foot of the bed. Now I'll pull it out so you can see it in night mode. I won't tuck that back down because I'll have to make this up in again in a minute, but you can see how much more room that gives you. Also a wide bed, thanks to these shaped wardrobes with, if you look down here, you've got the cubby holes there for your nighttime essentials. And if you want to charge your phone, USBs and the lights above. Um, end washroom. Now, well appointed as you'd expect in a unicorn. Uh, obviously you've got the loo. Lots of storage around it. Cupboards, shelves here, more cupboards. Um, loo roll holder behind maybe. A window behind and a roof light um, above the separate shower. Now talking of which, again, you've got that hanging rail. If you've got a wet coat, there's no point hanging it by the door, making the doormat wet, let it drip into the shower. And that is, the Unicorn 5 Cartagena.